Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai visa exemptions yet again. As we discussed in another video on this channel, the 45-day visa exemption, which was temporarily created in the aftermath of the lockdowns here in Thailand starting in October 2022, has ended, to the best of our knowledge. It, it does not appear to be in the offing that this will be extended again, although it might be a good idea for those in a policy position to maybe think about possibly reverting back to the 45 days come next high season. I think it's definitely something to ponder insofar as it could be quite a nice little inducement for further tourism during those months where, Thai, where tourism in Thailand is at its highest. But okay, let's leave that aside for now. Long story short, Presently, if you're from one of the 60-odd countries that allows visa exemption in Thailand, for example, and probably most pertinent to this channel, US, UK, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, many in the EU have passports which allow for what's called a visa exemption, which need, you need to understand, this is not a visa per se. It is, a, it is an exemption stamp granting lawful status upon entry but not actual visa status. It's exemption from visa status. So the, the standard is 30 days. There was a special determination made again back in October that said we're going to up that to 45 days, ending March 31. March 31 has come and gone, and there was no extension of that special exceptional set of circumstances that allowed for 45 days. So we are now back to a 30-day exemption stamp. What does this mean as far as extension of that 30 days? Well, under the present rules here in Thailand, it is possible if you enter Thailand on a 30-day exemption stamp, you can tack on another 30 days here in the country. You can actually extend that in country by another 30 days. So total of 60 days on arrival, if you do everything correctly, depending on your passport. Another question that comes up pertains to border runs. Is it possible to then do a border run and get another 30 days after the initial 60? Yes, that is technically possible, as we've discussed in other videos on this channel. Due to a Royal Gazette decree that came out some years back, there is a essentially mandatory two border runs for visa-exempt passports in Thailand. So mandatory, I shouldn't be... Thai immigration always has discretion to deny someone entry to the kingdom for a variety of different reasons. And there's some more nebulous ones like national security or public health and safety, where effectively Thai immigration has discretion to deny really anyone that wants to enter the kingdom if they can, you know, if they feel that if it's deemed that that person shouldn't enter the kingdom. That's what immigration officers are there for. But there was a royal decree, there, or there was a, excuse me, an announcement in the Royal Gazette which stipulated that, look, folks from these countries can do two border runs per year. They can enter, better, better put, they can enter an exemption status twice per calendar year. So if you fly into Thailand via an airport checkpoint, you get 30 days, you extend by another 30 in country, you could then in theory do a border run, run out to the border, cross the border, you're then checked out of the country, and then you come right back in. A little bit different than a visa run where you go to an embassy. We're just talking about hopping a border, hopping back in, getting another 30 days, and then, yes, indeed, it is possible to go ahead and extend that 30 by another 30. So if you do everything correctly, it is possible to get 120 days of lawful status in Thailand in exemption status. Now, a word of caution, remember, Thai immigration does not like folks who in the American parlance, look like intending immigrants without proper documentation. That's sort of how similar folks are treated under the Immigration Nationality Act in the United States. If they enter on a tourist visa and it looks like they're trying to live in the United States, then they can be turned away again as an intending immigrant without proper documentation. Similar analysis occurs at immigration here in Thailand. So if you get your 120 days in a given sort of period, sort of back to back to back, be aware that maintaining further status in either tourist visa status or exemption status is going to be difficult to the point of impossible. So it's probably a good idea to be looking at options regarding non-immigrant visas in those circumstances.